gonna be over here doing video game time a little bit early. So I can make cupcakes in a little bit. Let's see, scorching light. Ooh. Oh, that would make the background hard to see. That's cool. That's very good, I like that a lot. Ooh. Is there a... Oh, the deeps and the shallows. Oh, it's really pretty. Um, I'll go with the regular one for now. No idea what this game is. 495 years ago, our founder saw that humanity would perish except the worthy. Our Lord will return in glory to reward the faithful. Yet there are sinners in our community. As the high priest, I must select a sinner to sacrifice every season. Five years until Judgment Day, if we are free from sin, he will save us from this suffering. <clears throat> a new season begins. The earth is dark and inviting. It's spring. Oh, a letter has arrived. Let's... The painting. Vicar Epperson reports that the village children are no longer sing about Chernabog. Instead, they sing about white sand beaches and fruits called coconuts. Investigation determines Miko Epperson has been planting these fanciful images. Hmm. We shall burn every forbidden painting. Miko must turn this creative energy towards our lord. I can encourage ignorance or encourage fervor. Uh... bad messing up the paintings. I mean, I think I'm some sort of a cult leader, so I guess I'm already horrible, but... Miko Everson is honored by your attention, and soon creates a masterwork of fear and dread, depicting Lord Chernabog's awakening. Okay. Kegni, Yosefka... Cadwell Everson Blackborn. The Kegni own the farmlands, providing sustenance to the village and hosting book burnings. Yosefka. The Yosefka are a hardy lot, excelling at carpentry and masonry, building great monuments to our lord. Alright. A family of miners and merchants, Cadwells are the wealthiest in the village. Okay, this has... Okay, so they all have different stats. Uh, Epperson's are the most devout followers of Chernabog, wielding whips and hearing confessions. The Blackhorns control the guardsmen of the village and interrogate rebels as needed. Okay. Select a seasonal advisor from each house. Um, heck, uh, improved by childlike, dull, haunted, practical sources, uneducated, destroy forbidden records to erase the sinful past. Okay. Uh, show our devotion through tireless labor, resist all worldly temptation. Okay, so. Bit of a steep learning curve for me, but alright. Make a sinful repent their crimes, discover heretics hiding in our midst. Alright. Click on a house and appoint advisors. Um. The efforts in this state. Vicar Epperson. Inquiries remaining two. Approval satisfied. Miko Epperson. Miko often hangs around the confessional brooding. Z Zena is fairly good chef and swears by her father's cookbook. Aram has a soft and soothing voice, like a dove. Eden practices martial arts on the clifftop some mornings. Neda was called the advocate as a child for constant arguing with her parents and siblings. Zoya always looks a bit suspicious and guilty to me, but I'm not sure why. Bella answers most questions with strange sounds and animal noises. Well, I don't think my cult leader persona would... Well, I don't know, maybe she's speaking in tongues or something, but I, I like I like Bella. Jema sometimes obsesses about certain passages of the scripture. Okay, um, I can do inquiries. Uh, I don't know what next person I'm seeing. Inquire about virtue, inquire about vice. Eh? 
Undisciplined. This person is rumored to affect discipline. To fully expose this trait, use another inquiry. Use this person during the season. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, know a lot. You. Unrepentant. This person is rumored to affect penitence. Uh, I guess we don't really know anything about this guy. Um, when's the next service? He is full of fervor. Rumor to affect fervor. Okay. I guess we can also know more about Miko. Uh, Sin weighs on me like heavy stones. Okay, he's penitent. Uh. Um. Okay, so they're imp. Improved by accusatory convict, honest, just, self loathing. Andrew Beller and Arsene Weasel. Uh, okay. Uh, I don't have any of these here. Maybe this guy? I can rename them? This will affect the villager season council, you touch not said one. Uh, I don't know, this guy, I'm sure. I feel most at home behind the pulpit at your side. Okay, cool. So he's super into it. The Kegney estate. Nikolai has tried to commit suicide in the past, but it's been some years since the last incident. Susan is a good mediator when arguments become too heated. Yaromir is a very bright child and learned to read at an early age. He <laughs> knows too much, he might know too much. Ladislaus is almost never silent. He's always mumbling a prayer or litany of some kind. Danek is a hemophiliac and must receive fewer lashes as a result. Danica is a gifted healer and maker of medicines. Uh, where am I? Kegney? Man like dull, haunted, practical, superstitious, uneducated. Yet they have this one guy who likes to read. Matron Kegney. Um. So she's a good. But what if I. What if I see about this? What would you have me do? Okay. So it seems like she's sort of neither one way or the other. Maybe I should check into this guy. Is he okay? Oh, and I don't think this guy's okay. Um. Let's go with this lady. She seems like she's kind of neither hot nor cold. Milos. Milos often wakes up long after anyone, everyone has finished breakfast. Me too, buddy. Fania was a very talkative child, as I recall. Excitable and restless. Hana has a well-trained pet Labrador retriever. Cool. Ivan enjoys a good debate. Dusha is famous. Duska? Dushka is famous in the village for inventing a new form of meditation. Cool. As a child, Mary once tricked her brother into taking her lashes for her. Hetty can't seem to keep her voice down. <laughs> okay, that one's dead, I guess. Uh, improved by Pyromaniac. Um. Seem like 
you might be a good, um... Oh, do not speak to me of coarse deeds or I shall faint. I don't know much about this guy. Oh wait, okay, I don't have any more inquiries into this house. Educator Yosaka. Seems like an interesting advisor. Seems like she would be sort of sneaky. Guess this one's good at dealing with animals. This guy likes debating, but then he, I don't know, might debate the adjudicator. Cadwell estate. Lord of Cadwell. Welcome, Your Excellency. Svante has one of this village's only silvered glass mirrors saved from the old world. Iva is fit as a fiddle. Nadia has the worst memory. Sometimes I think she could forget her own name. Eh, me too. I rarely get complaints about Ludmila. Tyranny blushes easily, much to everyone's amusement. <laughs> Odd, one of them is dead, I guess. Um. I wonder if I accidentally used both inquiries on the one other character, because I didn't mean to. Guess I don't know much about you. Some people call me strict. Um, I guess I should also try to learn something about you. <laughs> Just tell me what to do. Ascetic, athletic, chaste, masochist, stoic. Resist all worldly temptations. Well, if she's good at being stern, then maybe she would be a good advisor? And then the Blackborn Estate. Do you need an arrest? I don't think so. I suspect Misha may be illiterate. <laughs> Carol asks very good questions. I enjoy talking with Sagan, he makes me feel at ease. Vasin only speaks in simple sentences and short words. Hmm. Um. I guess I'll ask about these two. I just have high standards. Hmm. Just tell me what to do. Um. Well, I guess this guy who asks good questions might be a good advisor, because it might help the Inquisitor, who I would guess is inquisitive, uh, make decisions. Uh, begin season? New month begins. March. Burn books, build monument, confiscate good, flagellate sinners, investigate heresy. Select one to three advisors. Um, I guess we need to increase our penitence, maybe? I'll prepare my notes. The sermon is in order. Very well, I will endure. Discipline above all, Your Excellency. Okay, let's see what happens. Average outcome. Duska urged the laborers in carving and sanding, and a small shrine to our god was crafted. Plus three fervor. Duska loudly shames a couple holding hands in public. Vice rumor. Duska is rumored to be disobedient. Duska receives the code of laws with a new, more confusing interpretation. Obedience? Hmm? Flagellate sinners, average outcome. Dimas dutifully whipped the sinful, adhering to the rites of penitence. Okay. Dimas spends extra time with the monument construction sites. Vice rumor. Dimas is rumored to know too much. Dimas pulls the town on their thoughts about a library. Hmm. Well, I don't know, what if it's a library full of works honoring uh what's it called? Chernobug? Chernogub? 
Tronagob? I can't remember. Average outcome. Carol... Carol and just interrogated townspeople. It seems a few parents conspired to hide children from the ritual. Carol works extra hard, skipping many meals and evening leisures. Vice rumor. Carol is rumored to know too much. Rumored to know too much. Carol pulls the town on their thoughts about a library. Oh, he's also thinking about a library. How's the leader reactions? Mm. Okay, so the adjudicator isn't sure about her advisor. You like yours. Okay, these two like theirs. These two are alright, but they don't hate them. Okay. Alms for the pure. Baker Everson argues that priests and penitents shouldn't have to pay for their food, as it's used for Chernobog Chernobog's glory. That's it, Chernobog. Ma Matron Kegney says such a policy would leave her farmers in poverty. The Kegney offer priests a discounted rate. The vicar, you can afford to pay the farmer farmers. <sighs> Which one are the Effersons? They're the rich ones, right? Or, wait, are they? I think they're the rich ones. Pay the farmers. They don't like it, but whatever. Vicar Everson leaves in a huff, muttering about the greedy Kegney. A new month begins, April. Okay, um... Guess we could try to... improve... some stuff. Alright. Susan scoured the town and found one old world book to burn in a ritual fire. Just one. Susan follows your every suggestion. You notice Susan's ceremonies aren't as well attended as others. Oh geez. Great outcome. He must pose the town as our thoughts about a library. He might know too much? What happens if I inquire here? Hmm. Um, no, no, let's leave it for now. Carol interrogated townspeople, right? Still working on that library. Or thinking about it, I guess. Okay, approval here seems to be dropping a bit, but... Okay, the Inquisitor loves his guy. And Mansion Cagney is very happy with hers. You're okay, but kind of losing it a bit. Alright. Well, probably because I made you mad about that, but whatever. Oh heck, um... Maybe I should have chosen a better... person there. Hmm. Never seen ceremonies aren't well attended as others. Hmm. Hello. Playing this weird game. That's fine. I wasn't sitting here with a timer going, Your ten minutes is up! You're blocked in reporting! <laughs> that would be weird. Mm. Well, they're not gonna like this, but... Mm -hmm. I need my space. Ah, she's a hermit. Okay. It's considered a minor vice, but... Consider it a huge blow to fervor, I guess. <laughs> Revises the codes of law with a new, more confusing interpretation. Hmm. Alright, he's doing okay. Hmm. What does that mean? I'm not gonna like this, but... Mm -mm. I wish to deepen the understandings of our lord. Ah, uh, he's a scholar. Which... is a hit to ignorance. Mm -hmm. 
still really likes him, so... Um... Heck. The season's end draws near. A sacrifice must be made to protect the village. I guess it's a toss-up between these two. Uh, I just the proper evil cult leader thing to do would be to take out the guy who's... ...trying to learn things. Because you have to keep the cults, uh... ...ignorant or whatever. Her, she's just, I guess, not great with people. Hmm? Oh, you can link it, I just probably won't check it out immediately. Uh, I don't want to, but... Uncertain virtue. Villagers who trust Dima's reputation will feel conflicted and lose fervor. Major advice. The villagers will be inspired to greater ignorance through the purging of this sinner. House upper sinner will begrudgingly submit to my decision. Hold on. Um... Minor vice, the sacrifice will encourage fervor. Yeah, her. It is forgivable. Mm, I'm so sorry, man. Through sacrifice, they will be done. We sacrifice the life of Demos in the name of Chernobog and the good of our people. Our condolences to House Epperson. Just sacrifice. House Epperson solemnly mourns Demos. House Epperson approval, minus 30. Other houses approval, plus 5. The villagers praise Chernobog for ridding their community of a blighted soul. Okay, so their ignorance went back up. Ferber went down a little bit. The night before the new season, a whisper caresses your dreams. My faithful servant, I wait your devotion. Creep. Encourage ignorance, purity of mind and soul. The morbid one, give her to me. The morbid one? The nights are pale and short-lived. Okay, so... I guess we got a really, um... Really try to boost ignorance here. And I have to find the morbid one? Bloody spoils. The guard reports desecration. Demos's grave has been disturbed and his body has been removed in the night. Set patrols to apprehend the grave robbers. Increase food rations. Hide the evidence from grieving family members. Hmm. Right? Let's see, um... Well, I mean, he was a, a sinner or whatever because he was too scholarly, but... But, like, it's kind of fucked up that his grave was robbed. I could go for this one because I'm supposed to be encouraging ignorance and something else. Okay. Encourage obedience, encourage fervor, and something. Encourage ignorance and. Well, we are kind of low on fervor. Um. What if I increase food rations? I just want to see what this does. You quietly improve the village's diet, hoping the grave robbers will find better sustenance. House Epperson is horrified by the implication. Oh, fuck, dude, they might have ate him. Fuck. <laughs> uh... Oh my god, I got confused before. The Effersons are, um... Not the rich ones, that's the Cadwells. Okay. Well, I'm bad with names. He's penitent. You might know too much. Um... The healer... Hmm. I guess I can start the inquiries. <laughs> I don't know anything about you. Are you the morbid one? Mm -hmm. I have 
much to repent. Hmm. I don't know what his virtue is, or his virtue. I also don't know what yours is. My habits are impeccable. Okay. I guess for that other for that other house that can appoint the one who doesn't even know how to read. Yeah, I really like it. There's also um if I There's also like some really pretty uh palette changes. This one makes it hard to see a little bit. This one's cool, I might try this one for a minute. It actually feels a bit harder on the eyes, hold on. What about, um... Yeah, this one's just like a softer version. Alright. Um... Oh, where's that one person who can't read? I don't know anything about you. Okay, I only have one inquiry for this place. Okay. Oh yeah, I still don't know anything about Milos. See what happens when I appoint you as the advisor. What me? I um I can help. Yeah, sure. Yeah, we we killed Demas, and he might have gotten eaten. Yeah, I like. This is one of those games where I can't remember why I have it, but I probably saw it going around on a Tumblr post at some point or something. Hmm. If I appoint this guy, this will be so fun! I'm guessing he's a little dumb, so maybe that'll help? What about you? Too much knowledge is uncomfortable. Okay. Yeah, I'll check that out in a minute. I need to, like, close some other things. Nobody needs to be confined. Um, this one didn't do great last time. Make you the advisor. Hey, you notice my dedication eventually. Mm -hmm. Apparently, she has a bad memory that might help with the ignorance. Yeah, like how all the eyes are like smeared out. This one person's wearing glasses, which is slightly different. She was doing pretty good last time. Um, see what your virtue is. I look inward for truth. Okay. Well, I know 
she was doing pretty good. Oh wait, was she? Yeah, she was doing pretty good, I think. Like, not too good, not too bad. Um, let's try this guy to try to learn more about him, I guess. And the Blackhorns. I know this guy was doing pretty good. Okay, so this guy is dumb. That would help with our ignorance. Quoted, quotient. What about you? I'm on the straight and narrow now. Uh -huh. Hmm. Well, I tried that guy last time. Let's try this guy next time. Hmm. Apparently, I think it might be a good advisor, but if we're looking for idiots, I gotta gotta probably go for this guy. A few ideas about improving efficiency. Okay. It says he only speaks in simple sentences and short words, and yet he's like, I have a few ideas about improving efficiency. Give me a sec, Pretty cool and catchy song.
good melody and beat. Fun lyrics has like probably makes some sense to the series, I would guess. Oh wait, Frank, who is the morbid one? Ah, damn it. Okay, um let's burn some books. Build a monument and investigate heresy. Ah, I don't know, I'll try. <laughs> I have no idea. I know that chew is often like a sound effect for kissing? Donix wise, when asked about this, Donix shrugs and changes the subject. Mm -hmm. hmm. Only found a few scribbled scraps of old world literature. There were no bonfires. Mary is rumored to be unrepentant. When asked about this, Mary shrugs and changes the subject. Hmm. Hmm. That makes sense. Mm hmm. Memorizing scripture passages. Hmm. Alright. You notice us in ceremonies aren't as well attended as others. Hmm. Heck, we're supposed to be increasing ignorance. Oh no. Okay, you're you're not liking that one, huh? Hmm. Um. Let's get you in here. Hmm. Here, can you try to do a bit better? Okay, there you go. We found a single book, but it was something. Hmm. A weasel. I've been really good lately, Clemency. Hmm. Just trying to weasel out of. Out of issues? I'm still catching up on years old animes, and I'm sure there'll be ones that I'll hear about later. Mm -hmm. A swindler? That used to loan me a favor. Honestly, it's not too surprising. Oh no. Okay. Average outcome. Mm -hmm. Aaron's behavior is an unknown impact in our community. Hmm. I guess so. Okay, so he doesn't know much and he doesn't care much. Hmm. Still pretty dissatisfied, huh? Heck. The Kegney and Blackworms are doing fine. The Osefkas are doing okay. I need to do better for the Cadwells and Appersons later, though. Ill omen. Your Excellency, yesterday when I went to pull water from the well, my bucket came up with a skull-shaped leaf. I dare not leave my house until I receive your blessing, lest I risk Lord Chernobog's wrath from Bella Epperson. Perhaps Epperson can make theirs. Offer, offer your blessing. Remind Bella of the rituals of repentance. Hmm, we do need more penitence. They'll like that if I let them take care of it. Hmm. Um. Encourage penitence? Wales have been down the streets about the price of sin. Okay, um... I 
should try to interrogate this guy about his thing. Uh, got really high discipline going. We gotta up that ignorance somehow. Yeah, I hope you could get like a refund for that or something. Is that a hassle? Somehow doesn't find time to go to confession. Hmm. Ah, you're making our penitence go down. Sworn an oath to abstain from the pleasures of the flesh. Well, that'll increase discipline, but. Hmm. Confiscate goods. Average outcome? Swante is rumored to be obedient. Swante follows your every suggestion. Okay. When asked about a sin, Swante shrugs and changes the subject. Hmm. Hmm. Elegant, if you must. Hmm. A narcissist never ever appreciates the work that I do. Ah. Heck. Extracted an anonymous confession from a heretic, removing their tongue as penance. Jesus. Hmm. Oh? Ah, he's cowardly. But what about... I think it's practical. Ugh, man, we're not doing great in the areas we're supposed to be doing great in. Although, okay, you're liking what you've got here. You're liking what you've got here. Uh, you're not liking what you have here at all. Hmm. Yeah, penitence needs to be raised for them. Okay. Season's end draws near. A sacrifice must be made to protect the village. Who will this be the sacrifice this season? Fuck man, I forgot to find who the morbid the morbid girl was. There were a couple of persons who could have been there. Mm. Or the greater penitence. Or lose obedience. Mm. Since they were selected last season. Sorry. We sacrifice the life of Mary in the name of Chernobog and the good of our people. Our condolences to House Yosefka. Approval minus 30, other house approval 5. Villagers phrase Chernobog, ridding their community of a blighted soul. I think I did so good. The harvest brings heavy toil, Autumn. The village is growing too curious about the outside world. They must tend to their ignorance by the end of the season. I'm trying. The village folk are growing content and passive. I'm stoked their fervor. Spiral contagions. Spiritual contagions are spreading among the villagers, causing them to behave abnormally. I've decided to unseal the old tower to confine and purify the affected. Heck, okay. Um... What about you? Acting strangely? Maybe afflicted with a contagion.
I haven't discovered what this guy's vice is yet. Uh, they are dissatisfied. you out. You're making a mistake. Hmm. Mm -mm. I'll read your tea leaves for you, Excellency. Does he always say that? Just says you're making a mistake. Hmm. Okay, apparently he has... Well... Let's try it. Let's see what happens there. Hmm. fervor. Well, you know what? Let's make it you. Fuck it. Okay, is there anyone else around here who, um... Are you acting strangely? No. Hmm, okay. Sufka states... Yeah, I have one inquiry for these ones. I don't know anything about this guy yet. He's full of fervor. Very tired, but I guess he is full of fervor. Mm -hmm. I do need to increase that. I also need to increase ignorance. By our blood and sweat, do we worship praise of the Lord? I don't know if anyone else over there uh, needs help. Blackborn shall always be loyal. What about you? You're one of the few I don't know anything about. Lacking fervor. Don't mind. Both of yours are. Hmm. Both of yours are rumors. Childlike. Do you have any candy? Um. I do need some ignorance. Although they're for obedience, right? Should make it you. What do we go, Sheriff Lindsay? And then the Cadwells. Is one of you the morbid girl? Do I ask too many questions? Hmm. I don't have another one, heck. discipline is just real hard. Um... What if I make it you? Okay, because she's also penitent.
Visit? Do not fully understand what ails Xena. Examining Xena will help us understand her contagion. Purifying her may cause cure her affliction or cause unexpected results. Examine? It's getting chilly in here. Okay, so she's under examination. I'm guessing that'll last the season or something. Um, well, let's begin the season. Okay. We need some book burn and monument building and some flagellation going on. Just going to ruin it all, you know. Huh. Let us last scour the town and found one old world book. Hmm. Extra time at the monument construction sites. Revises the Code of Laws, the new, more confusing interpretation. What's up with this? He's charismatic. Hmm. Alright, average. Rumored to be undisciplined. Mumbling an apology. Hmm. He's a flirt. Oh my god. Is he up late in bed because he's like jacking off or something? I Is that what that's telling me? Rumor to know too much. Pulls it down to the thoughts about a library. Hmm. Big self loathing there. An artist. Oh, geez, it's considered a major vice. Hmm. Oh, geez. Heck. Hmm. Right, we need your help here, buddy. Um... I can try to learn more about her. Hmm. Let's try to learn more about her. Poor, out poor outcome. Beautiful sermon, stirring every heart. Hmm. She's a teenager. <laughs> teenager is a negative trait. Average outcome. Ensuring steadfast focus on prayer. It's forbidden desserts and fine cloth. Hmm. A convict. I have plenty to atone for. Okay, so... My race penitence, I guess. Yeah. A pervert. <laughs> it does no harm to the squids. Oh no. <laughs> Alright, he did a good outcome there. <laughs> hmm. Unquestioning. Mm? A uh, hermit. Ah. Hmm. Okay, you're still really happy about yours. You're st yeah, you're really not liking these, huh? Those were still above board with all of you, though. I mean. I have to go for that guy. Hmm. Charismatic, but... Ugh, man, I do not have enough in here to help... ...with these. Heck, 
Well, if you guys can actually do anything to improve these, that would be good. Um, just going to ruin it all, you know. That's the spirit. Beautiful servants are in every heart. Too young for this responsibility. I think I already investigated, like, everyone. Male are source laborers to toil day and night, creating a fine monument. Taking on yet another lover. He's violent. I do have a bit of a temper sometimes. Hmm. Seems like kind of a dirtbag, man. Poor outcome. Granted forgiveness to sinners without punishment, causing confusion and dismay. He's often found weeping and gnashing teeth for no known sin. <laughs> Organizing secret poetry readings. Heck, man, you're screwing up our ignorance scores. Man, they're still all pissed off. You're very happy though, even though ignorance is not as up as much as it should be. Tend to ignorance by the end of the season. Man, we're not doing good on there, I gotta say. <sighs> mm. <laughs> Convict and a pervert. Mm. It'll increase ignorance. They'll lose penitence, but... Yeah, like, I don't really have to do anything with him. I don't think she deserves it. This guy is a creep, but... This guy is just a teenager. I think this guy wants to be, like, he's extremely penitent. He has huge self-loathing, and he's an artist, so you know he's depressed. Um, and I do have to increase my ignorance score. I'm sorry, man. Oomst <sighs> calls me?
Alright, I gotta head out. I don't know if anyone's still there, but if you are, do a hydration check, posture check, do a stretch, um... And keep those ignorance scores high, because otherwise you're a bad cult leader and you'll be thrown... I actually don't know enough of the lore to say anything, but yeah, goodbye for now. Oh no, it's called the...